now I'm on my way to to my school. Um, I have mixed feelings about it. I'm not sure if I really want to do it. I know I like it, but right now I've just been feeling sad and it's just been like a really rough road. I should have been done next year by this time, but I'm not. So that's why I'm like sad about it. But. Right now I'm on my on my way to um, orientation. It's a mandatory orientation session. Um, I'm running a little bit late, but I'm going to make it and see how I feel after the orientation session. I'll check back with you guys later. Um, I'll update you guys later. I mean. So, orientation, um, so I was just at student orientation, they give us a break for lunch. I walked in there feeling nervous and then I started reminiscing about the semester I had. I felt quite happy. It was just like I was somewhat on a roller coaster. I was happy one minute, the next minute I was sad. I was sort of bored because the information they were feeding me, I've been fed and I know the information already. So my mind started wondering um, because I already know what's going to happen. I know th those things already. Um, I just felt like for the most part, I didn't really need to be there. I don't know why. Um, well, I guess there are a few new information like for example we're gonna have this new book now i'm gonna have to sell my old book so i could get a new one but um let me get to the point here um what are they talking about excuse me um yeah i was really excited and then i found out i found out that um the student who's really, really smart is, um, she didn't make it, um, her second semester. I didn't make it my first. She didn't make it her second. So now she's going to have to take the, some, um, the, the fall off and she has, she has to redo the spring just like I have to redo the fall. It kind of got me nervous because she's really smart and she didn't make it, which doesn't mean I won't make it either, but it just kind of just, it makes me a little bit nervous. I just have to. I just have to dedicate a hundred percent of my time to it. But then again, she has a boyfriend, which matters. You may not. Um, you may say, "Yeah, Karen, she has a boyfriend." But if the boyfriend is unsupportive, is she's dedicating too much of her time to her work, which is really important, which she needs to do in order to be successful in the program. If the boyfriend is selfish, if the boyfriend does not understand that she has to do the work, she's going to fail. Like. And if especially she doesn't put her work before everything else. It's her work. It's God. Her work. Her family. That's how it, that's how it goes when you are in, in, a, in those very competitive health-related programs. Um, it's that hard. That's just the reality of it. And you have to put the work first. Otherwise, if you put the work second, guess what? Guess what's gonna happen? You're not gonna get what you're desperately want what you desperately you know working hard toward you're not going to accomplish those, those dreams that you want those dreams that you want to make a reality um so yeah i felt definitely sad for her even though me and her we had our little differences but i still feel you know i have i'm a compassionate human being i have a heart so therefore even if the person is nasty towards me something bad happens i'm not gonna be happy you know what I mean? It's just that's not that's not the kind of hard guard placed in, in me, with it placed within my chest. So I I do feel bad for her because um, I'm there. You know what I mean? I am in that same struggle, and I felt when I felt when I felt hard when I fell off the program when I got 
well, I didn't get kicked out, but I was told to rewrite, to write a letter of readmission and stuff. So I literally, it was kind of get, it's like getting kicked out. I was bummed. I don't even know how I passed all of my final finals with B's. I was just, I was so depressed. I couldn't study. I couldn't do anything. Everything that I, that I know that I passed in my finals is like all the work that I learned from the beginning of the school year because I was going hard up until I, I learned that I didn't do so well in clinic and then I was just like so depressed and I just dragged myself to um, to class to take the finals. As a matter of fact, I, on, on some finals, I did some last minute just reviewing everything. I just, it's not like I didn't care anymore. It was just, I was just so depressed. I was so sad. I just... I worked so hard and I really, really wanted to finish in 2017, but that's not the plan God had for me. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, anyway, I'm having, I'm about to have lunch. Um, the orientation is not yet over. I'm going to go back in after lunch and it's going to, it's going to end at four. And yeah, I'll update you guys 